Back and only on News 5 at 4, we're taking you just down the road for Alan's latest adventure. It's a good one, Allison. This week, I stay in the Pikes Peak region to visit the Miramont Castle, a historical site in Manitou Springs that's loaded with history that dates back more than 125 years. Take a look. Take a step back in time for a glimpse of life in the Victorian era. Visitors to the Miramont Castle can take a self-guided tour of the museum or enjoy the tradition of high tea. The Queen's Parlor Tea Room hosts tea tastings twice a day, one at 11 a.m. and one at one in the afternoon. After taking a seat, tea room manager Leah Blake greets us with the first of four tastings. This is a blueberry strawberry white chocolate scone. Before I can take a bite, fruit to go with your scones. Wow, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. A variety of spreads makes each bite of the scone even more exciting. Up next, here are your tea sandwiches. Lots of different flavors for you to try today. Mmm. Tough day at the office. Blake brings out my favorite course next, dessert, and it doesn't disappoint. The tea room can seat up to 30 guests and reservations are required. A separate admission fee, but something that shouldn't be missed is a self-guided tour of the historic castle. Welcome to Miramont Castle. My name is Margaret. Front desk manager Margaret Johnson has been with the Miramont for 14 years and shows us around. Construction on the castle began in 1895. It was originally built as a personal residence for a French priest and his mother. But as Johnson tells us, they were not here long enough to enjoy it. The family left in the early 1900s, selling the castle to the Sisters of Mercy. In 1976, the Manitou Springs Historical Society purchased the building, restored the castle, and began offering tours. We start with the newest addition, the Fire Museum, located in the original castle's basement. It currently serves as Manitou's only firefighter museum. Working our way past the dining room and serving kitchen, we come to the eight-sided chapel. Perhaps my favorite part of the tour, the seven-sided glass solarium. Adjacent to the solarium is the guest suite and the spoils of war exhibit that honors the brave men and women who served our country. And Allison, get this, the 14,000 square foot house or castle has 30 rooms that's filled with history that dates back to the late 1800s, plus the high tea experience. It's out of this world fun. And for more information, I want to encourage our viewers to head to our website, koaa.com. And you were asking, how do you get involved with this? And right. I said, Adventures with Allison. Exactly. I'm like, I want to know, how, how do I get paid to eat all of that <laughs> delicious food? that Alan was eating there. But what a great thing to do, especially as people might be visiting for the holidays. Enjoy, you could probably spend all day there. You could, yes. and by the way, they completely deck it out with Christmas decorations. You could probably see that in the video. I think they said they have over 20 Christmas trees this year. Wow. Awesome. All right, good stuff, Alan. Thank you. Still ahead here on News 5.